Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And I've got the next wine in our board in the Bordeaux or France series. This is another Bordeaux wine. I bought most of the wines in France from the Bordeaux region. I decided to branch out a little bit since I was in France. I figured I'd buy a Burgundy, Loire Valley, you know, that kind of stuff. No, I'm not Chris Berman. Um, anyway, um, does that annoy you like it annoys me? I mean, I feel like he does that on purpose. I know his voice does that naturally, but I think he does that on purpose now. Because he'll sit there and be like talking normally, or then all of a sudden be like, Row. and then you can't understand him anymore. Anyway, I don't hate the guy. I actually like him. Also, I, I like a lot of the ESPN people on the, especially the older school people that people love to hate on. I think Stuart Scott's fine. Some people like to hate on him. Anyway. Enough of that. Sports. Speaking of that, oh, coming up next week. Should be next week. This should be Friday after Beaujolais Nouveau release day. Um, UT and a The last Thanksgiving game. It might be a Hall Texas Thanksgiving wine. I might have to throw in a UT, UT um, wine for that. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, so uh, let's get right into this wine. All right, so we've got the 2008 Reserve Mouton Cadet Poyac. Um, not Mouton Cadet. Um, this is uh, made by the Baron Philippe de Rothschild. Uh, so this is a uh, one of the one of the um, I want to say few because it's probably not there's, there's there's more than it's not a few, but this is one of those branded French wines. Now a lot of times we're used to either you know. We'll see a lot of branded wines. I mean, you got the Louis Jadot, all that kind of stuff. So you'll have, you know, Mouton Cadet is one of those branded uh, French wines. And what it was is that uh, Rothschild had, you know, his, you know, has his, you know, Mouton Rothschild has his uh, estate. And um, these wines or these grapes or whatever were, weren't necessarily living up to, I guess, what he wanted. So they created this brand. Now, um, they have since uh, expanded to a lot of other, uh, especially like with the reserve, expanded to a lot of other areas in the Bordeaux, in the Bordeaux region. This particular one, the Playac, is exclusively made for Nicholas, uh, for the Nicholas wineries, or Nich the Nicholas wine shops. Um, oh yeah, so 17 euros and 10 cents which equates to $23.56 in, $23 in today's U.S. money. 80% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 10% Merlot, 10% Cabernet Franc. Um, and all kinds of people on Facebook today. By the way, Facebook, yeah, friend me up. Friend me up on Facebook. I, I post more on my personal account. If you want to friend me up there, that's cool. Just realize I'm going to talk about a lot more than wine. Actually, I almost never talk about wine on the personal account. Um, the wine side is where I talk all wine. That's why I have two accounts. Because um, if you don't care about all the other stuff I talk about, as far as sports and politics and just in general, just goofy, stupid things that who really cares, stick with the wine side. Um, anyway, it's made, this particular one, Poyak, is made for um, uh, Nicholas. Now they have some other ones. Um, let's see if I can quickly go through those. They've got, um, uh, come on, I don't want to go through each one of them. I mean, they, they, oh, here we go. They've got, they've got Sauternes, come on. They have Sauternes, they have Graves, they have more Graves, more Graves, saint Emilion, just regular Madoc, and that's all the ones that they show on their website, okay? Now... 
you can get, like I said, from, uh, and the Medoc one is from, uh, well, it's matured in the Saint Laurent Medoc winery. Anyway, um, this one, again, only you can only buy it at Nicholas. Now, when the guy told me that, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I've heard that before. Oh, we're the exclusives. Okay, whatever. But no, it really is. You can't find the Playac Mouton Cadet anywhere. Right? It's very hard to find just a reference on the web other than at Nicholas or like, you know, like uh, Seller Tracker or something like that. So you can only buy it with them, made for them exclusively. So um, he also said that this is something I should decant. Well, it's been in the bottle. I mean, I opened the bottle like eight hours ago. But like we saw at the last wine, it needed a little bit of time in the glass to kind of open up a little more, and I poured another lit. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. All right. So color-wise, it's pretty dark, um, a lot darker than the last one. Um, it is an 80% Cabernet Sauvignon, whereas the other one probably wasn't 80%. I think it was 70. It was, it was 75, so a little bit, a little bit less, but um, definitely a lot darker um, as far as the viscosity, medium viscosity. Uh, it is a 13% alcohol wine, uh, like everything else except for that one 12 and a half. All right, it's a it's a younger wine, <clears throat> so it may be a little more closed. Uh, with that said, I'm I'm getting something off of this. Red fruits, um, maybe raspberry. Yeah, probably more raspberry than anything else. Um, maybe some dark cherry, but darker red fruits, not, not the, not the really bright red fruits. I had gotten a little bit of smoke out of it, but, or earthiness, that kind of blew off a little bit. I seem to be fixated on this pie aspect. Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting a little bit of that, you know, type of fruit pie. So, and, and let me clarify, it also means I'm getting a bit of crust. You know, the pie crust, not, you know, I keep talking about creaminess and pie because I keep thinking, you know, whipped cream on pie, but I should also make sure you realize that I get that kind of flaky, you know, crust type of stuff. It's not like I feel like I'm eating a pie, but I get that type of baked, in a good way, you know, type of flavoring. I'm starting to get some of the green peppers. It's a hint. And there's not that much Cap Franc in there, but it's starting to come out. It's um, it's pretty light feeling, but as I'm drinking more of it, the tannins are starting to really, you know, come out. But it's it's low tannins, you know, light light to medium tannins. Uh, low to medium, however you want to term it. Um, it's kind of it's kind of a light feel, light body to it. It's not very very full body at all. Um, we're gonna dump this and pour a little more because we're gonna assume that it's gonna change just slightly from one to the next. And it did. So, not dramatic. Not like the last one. It was a little more dramatic with the change. But a little more earthiness too. A little more minerality. I'm getting a touch of the peppers now, but it's not really, you know, I, I know I should smell it. That's why I'm getting some smelling it.
acidity is about medium acidity and I'm getting more of the fruits and the earthiness is starting to build up a little more. Again, this is a wine that if you decanted it a little bit, it would probably open up some more. It's already opening up right now. Um, I wouldn't put it necessarily at a 90. I'd probably put it about an 88. It might improve dramatically over another couple hours of decanting. But with that other wine just seemed like it was just in the glass. It was really, really starting to expand. And get better that that's why I gave it that 90. If I give an 88 right now, another 10 years or five, five to ten years, it probably would be better. Just like the other one, where they said, oh, 2015 is when you should drink it. Um you can drink it now. Come on, you can drink it now. But it might be better in another few more years. So we'll leave it at that. 88 for the score. Good wine. $24 wine. Not super expensive. Um, but if you see it, I check it out. Especially since it's, you know, it's not like your run-of-the-mill Mouton Cadet, you know, I don't want to call it crappy, but, you know, your your $6 regular wine. It's, it's you know, it's, it, it, it deserves the name Reserve. Okay, let's put it that way. It's called Reserve for a reason. It actually is pretty decent. Um, let's see. That's really all I got for here. Um, again, uh, if you didn't stop by uh, the Beaujolais Nouveau tasting, shame on you if you're in, if you're in San Antonio. Uh, st you should have stopped by. But um, definitely uh, stop by Ceci's uh, blog. Um, anytime she has like a... Um, should have been mentioning all of the other ones, but anytime she has uh, these events, she also sells, sells her t-shirts, so um, you can get one of those. They have the real men and the real women. They both pretty much say the same thing. Um, so if you stop by for the Beaujolais Nouveau with, with uh, the live tasting uh, here in town, or you stop by via Skype and Ustream uh, to, do, to do that with me, with uh, the Wine Twits, um, Thanksgiving's coming up very soon. Again, hook em horns. We've definitely got to uh, beat these Aggies. And the thing is, I feel bad because the Aggies really aren't that good this year. They're kind of like the Longhorns last year. So we should win, and we probably will. And I'm not trying to talk smack. We probably will win. But I kind of wish they were a better team because it would feel like, like yeah, you know, we, we really beat them because they're, you know, they're, they're just as good as we are or even ranked higher. You know, it would have been better just like really just – beat them instead of be like yeah well you know but that particular night on Thanksgiving night this is going to be playing a lot so I won't play the whole thing that'll be the alarm phone. That'll, that'll be playing on uh, Thanksgiving night alright so um, we got that um, friend me up any links below as far as going to wineries and other information click those um, to get you more information, stop by the uh, blog for the uh, um, what about Sommelier School, which uh, I'll be starting that up probably first of the year again. Um, and then uh, donations. I totally accept donations if you want to stop by and drop a couple, couple ducats into the pot. All right, that's going to do it for now, and we'll see everybody again next time.